Hello there, it's your old egg old Thorsten here again and uh, as you know I'm a warrior, trader, storyteller and runecaster and a history buff and I'm wearing my history hat today because we're going to be talking about Viking Lang Sax. But first of all don't forget to press the old subscription bell and leave us a comment, we're always happy about this. Recent figures have shown that you're very interested in combat weapons and that's jolly good. And today we're going to talk about the Viking Lang Sax and later on we'll do one on Saxon Lang Saxes. So let's drag one out and here we have a Viking Lang Sax. This means long knife basically, or today I suppose we'd call it a machete. It's a weapon that takes a lot less uh, iron to make and is jolly useful. Imagine this in close quarter. Um, it's a hacking weapon as you can see. This uh, would be sharpened and it will be a pretty brave man or foolish man to take on somebody wielding this. It's made of, st made of steel. Blacksmith could probably convert, I don't know, even a sickle or farm tool to make this weapon. Uh, and it's quite a weighty thing. It'd take your head off, I suppose, if you swung it hard enough. And you keep it in a sheath, which is worn across your stomach mostly. Here's the one you've probably seen before. This one's slightly different. As you can see it has an ergonomic, ergonomic handle. A uh, bit more upmarket. There's a fuller which means it reduces the weight but you don't lose any of the steel. And again this edge would be razor sharp. If these lung saxes you cannot really call them farmers tools because they are specifically designed for combat. Later on when the weather gets better You'll see Bragi and me beating seven bells out of each other on his back lawn. And hopefully none of us will get injured. Especially me, because I like me quite a lot. So those are the two types there. There are varying sizes, which we will go into in a later video. But again, it's not a sword, but it's something, and I think Bragi will agree, we could, the average blacksmith could um, make from farm tools you know um, you've got something like a sickle heat it up it may not be as thick as this but I'm sure they could do something and in a battle this would be quite a good uh, thing to have swords seem to just illustrate I'm rich don't kill me whereas this says come and have a go if you think you're hard enough yeah so the Viking long sacks it was also a sign of your freedom when you went to the old thing and they asked for a vote you drew your weapon hence you have the Vapentak which is weapon take and if Brog is giving and saying who's in favour of it say hi hi oh if I'm not no and that way you could keep account of things so there in a nutshell, or a thumbnail sketch, is the Viking Long Sax. As I say, later on we will do the Anglo-Saxon version of it. There are differences and we'll go to that on another date. But don't despise the Lang Sax, all you people in reenactors. You don't have to have great big swords and axes when you can get one of these. And it's a more reasonable price even today than a sword. And there's no sin wearing something like that in the reenactors battle. Far from it. I've been killed several times as one, and no doubt will be in the future when Braggy gets his hands on it. So, ah, so that was a very interesting uh, chat there on the Lang Sax. And what does Lang Sax mean? Long knife. Long knife. And at some point we will make a video talking about what Lang Sax and Scram Sax means. I do have that written down. You don't use it as a stabbing weapon. You Ouch. use it as a slashing weapon. Yes. You should find out if you've got any guts or not. But it's like you can use it one-handed or of course 
two-handed, which means you give it greater woof. Yes, I prefer one-handed with a shield, personally. Yeah, because you've not, if you're using it two-handed, you don't have a shield. Or, you go behind the shield wall of your own people, using them as a shield. There's a shield. Good old Bragi. Now you face the other way. I'm behind you. Alright, oh, sorry. So he's my shield, and I can now, you know, bit and bob. But so I'm slightly taller for this camera. Yeah, well, Stand back. it's not that you're tall, it's that I'm not very tall. So, a very useful weapon, and not many people, they all go to swords and big axes. Yeah, of course, so. the Langsax is yeah. so underestimated. It's such a fantastic weapon, I really do yeah. love a Langsax. Well, well, there was a time when I only had a Langsax. I had a sword that broke, oh. and it was converted into a Langsax, which then converted into scrap, I believe. But the point is, this is just as effective as any sword or spear. You just get in close. It's an up and, up and personal weapon. So, yeah, yeah, don't don't run it down. No, I love the Langsax. I fact, think it's a very good weapon. You should, if you've got a sword, you should be proficient in this, in the axe and the spear. I, mean, I think a good warrior should have a sword and a Langsax. Yeah. Personally, if you wanted to carry that weight, some of them wouldn't. But let's face it, you could drop your sword in battle, yeah. you want to quickly have at hand a second weapon, you haven't got an axe, so Langsax is very useful for that. Very, very You know, nice. and you've got the reach. Yeah. And what are they oh. made out of these weapons? Well, steel, blade, and the handles can be made of wood in this case. You can have any organic material. I think wood would probably be the most useful. And this is a wooden turned handle in the Norwegian style. And you've heard me talk about ergonomic. It yes. fits the hand. Yes, that's what that means. Yep, it fits the hand beautifully. And of course when you're fighting you'll have gloves on and you get sweaty and things like this look good but they tend to slip. This doesn't. And that means the difference between killing your enemy or yeah, in reenactor terms or ending up being killed. No, indeed. I will say, you don't want to start throwing bits of Yeah, so them. like Eggle said uh, earlier in the video, at some point when the weather improves, we'll be going out and filming a big load of bunch of combat videos. Yeah. From using the Langsats to the Scram, to the single-handed spear, to the double-handed spear, the Dane Axe, <laughs> and various other weapons, including the medieval mace. We've booked our beds already at the yes, Derbyshire well, you Infirmary. Have. Oh, cheers. <laughs> Do you think this is going to be a bit one-sided? I'll right. promise to take it easy on you. Alright, cheers. No, well, we're both about equally matched when it comes to combat. And we hope in the future to include more people in combat videos, so watch out for that. Well, I have made overtures, I hope they are responded to. And God willing and the river don't rise, we should Let's just show you this on camera. Smart for the thumbnail. There you go. And this is the end of the video, so it's goodbye from me. And it's goodbye from him. Oh yes, and don't forget, what should they do, Eggle? Press the old subscription bell in the corner there and leave us a comment. In fact, we will get back to you. It takes time because yes, if you we click do the have bell quite a lot. And you, you click the box, let us know about all of our content and whenever we publish your premiere or live stream, which we will try to do some more so in the future, mm. um, you'll be notified. And if you are new to the channel, then please, Eggle, what should they do? Leave us a comment, subscribe. Subscribe. Yeah. So goodbye. Okay, see you. Be groovy.